Welcome to Divine Light Meditation, channeled by Ophelia and Sakal with the Family of Light. Just gently focusing on your breathing now. Focusing on your in and out breath. And take deeper in breaths and gently breathe out, calming everything down. Feel how you become a little bit more relaxed in yourself and your body. And gently expand your heart energy to six feet in all directions, forming a sphere all around you. Expand this energy down to the heart of Mother Gaia and all the way up to source through your higher chakras. This forms a tube of your energetic signature. Calling on the support teams now, we ask for the angels, the archangels, the ascended masters and the karmic board to merge deeply and fully with us now through all dimensions of our fields. We ask for our God Presences, our guides, our Ascension Councils to work in harmonious group consciousness so the highest of the highest of the highest will be shown here today for all of us in our here and now. Call on a Temple of Mother Gaia grounding to anchor and activate through all dimensions of our fields. We call on a Temple of Divine Union to anchor and activate through all dimensions of our fields. And finally, call on a God Presence Communion Temple to anchor and activate through all dimensions of our fields. Feel how all these frequencies merge in with your frequency, raising your frequency, opening up your field. And breathe up and down your pillar a few times now, settling yourself even more out of the mind, into your heart, into your body. And place your attention now, your consciousness, in the God Presence Communion Temple. And have a seat here. And relax, just acclimatize. Gently connect your energy to the rose quartz crystal at the core of the temple. Start exchanging your heart energy with this crystal, simply by intentionally sending it through your heart to this crystal and at some stage it will start sending the energy back to you. As we are joined here today by two ascended masters and two archangels. Ascended Master Saint Germain, Ascended Master El Moria, Archangels Michael and Archangel Metatron. They're extending their connection, their heart connection to you now. Simply receive this now. As they stand in the four corners of the temple. So simply receive this connection with them now as you keep sending your heart energy to the rose quartz crystal at the core of the temple. And feel the support they offer for you right here, right now. And the first thing is they're gently asking you to Let go of any daily stress you are experiencing. Anything that has been preoccupying your mind. To just simply hand it over intentionally. And it will gently be transferred, transformed for you into universal love and light energies.
They're very excited to be sharing with you today and thank you for that opportunity. And the, the message they wish to share today is all about your personal energetic space. Your personal energy field, your energy bodies. And they're going to take you through some energetic transformations and assistance to help you to strongly be all of who you can be and to always know when it is you or when it is not you to know what is your energy what is not where do you stop and where does the other person start or where does the other energy start so this will be the core of what they will be taking you through today It'll be all about understanding more about your personal energy. And it will also be about understanding how to recognize the boundaries of your energy and to stick with those boundaries. And also, in some cases, to learn how to protect those boundaries if you feel that is needed. Learning more about your own personal energetic space is very important on your journey of self-discovery and self-development. The more you know who you are, what your boundaries are, the brighter you can shine your light and love into the world. And the more clearly you can fulfill your mission, do the projects that excite you, the more clearly you will also understand when you are entangled with others or when other energies are influencing the core of who you are and you will learn to understand when it's relevant to shine your bright light your light and your love into your energetic field more brightly and to clearly state who and what you are energetically and in some certain cases that's simply about shining all of who you are. In other cases, it is all about literally understanding where do you end and where does someone else begin? Because very often, especially as sensitive energetic beings, this entanglement or this codependence or this co-creative energies can be a bit confusing. So that's another very important thing that they wish to share with you today and show you how to deal with this. And finally, when and if it is needed, how to protect your personal energetic field. For in some instances, this may be needed. You may feel this is needed and then you will have the tools there to assist you. So that being said, breathe up and down your pillar a few times. Open your heart as widely as you can and send a little more energy to the rose quartz crystal at the core of this temple and receive the energies back from it now. As everyone else is transmitting into this crystal, receive the energies created in group consciousness now. And first, the team of four would like to start with a gentle clearing, a transformation of your energy bodies. And the first one that steps forth is Saint Germain to offer you the violet flame energies. These very powerful violet flame energies will start to move through your energy field now. And Saint Germain says this includes the sonic violet flame energies, a very focused version of the violet flame, which will move through all of your 12 primary chakras. So simply receive this now, he asks. Surrender up and receive.
He asks you to keep breathing up and down your pillar for as this violet flame transforms any discordant energies in your field, they will be moved out of your energetic pillar to the heart of Mother Earth for transformation. You may already feel these energies moving through the sonic violet flame, moving through the violet flame, moving through all of your aura, all of your multidimensional energy bodies. Just starting to transform anything in relation to the boundaries of your own ener energy, you understanding your own energy more clearly. Saint Germain explains it's like understanding and knowing your house, your home, your apartment, your room very well. You know where the walls are, you know where the door is, you know how big it is and you know where the next house, potentially the neighbor's house starts. And this is the same as what you'll be learning more clearly today. What, who are you? What is that energetic signature, that energetic frequency that you bring that is unique to you? You will also be invited, Saint Germain explains, to live more of who you are every single day with the ideal becoming all of who you are in potential here in your earth reality in this incarnation being all of who you are there is no need to only be a part of who you are these are merely blockages you can move through and you can transform for yourself The violet flame is also assisting with transformation of some general negative thoughts and thought patterns that may be in your way right here, right now. So open your mind and receive this as well. And remember, keep breathing up and down your pillar, he explains, for this will assist the energies that are being transformed to keep moving. Saint Germain invites you now to fall even deeper into yourself. For the deeper you fall into yourself with your conscious connection, the more deeply the violet flame can transform these energies. So fall more deeply into yourself now, he asks. Simply surrender more deeply into all of who you are. And remain conscious with us, he says, but drop deeper than you were before. Experience this deep transformation now, he says. On all levels of your being, If you have any thoughts or emotions or memories come up, he says, simply hand them over for transformation. If you have any negative thoughts blocking your progress or occupying your mind, simply hand them over for transformation now.
and feel now Saint Germain explains how the violet flame, a very gentle version of the violet flame is now starting to consolidate these changes. Beautiful, he says, beautiful. And he steps back now to his original corner within the temple. Archangel Michael steps forth now and he explains that his first role today is to cut any unhealthy, unwanted, negative energetic cords within your energetic field. If you give him permission to do so, he will do so now for you. When these cords are cut, they simply dissolve and the chakra they were connected to is capped and sealed so these cords will not reconnect and the universal energies and Divine Mother take care of the other energies that these cords were connected to often can be people in your life, people from the past other energies so that this cord does not reconnect and that energy balance is maintained and restored but without the cord there. If you would like to cut these cords yourself or even burn them with fire, Michael says to simply let him know and he will assist you to do so. He uses his blue sword of truth to cut all cords relevant. All healthy cords will not be cut. This is only applicable to unhealthy energetic cords. Michael also cuts a lot of more spider web like cords around the higher chakras, the brow and the crown and the soul star chakras in connection to all sorts of information that enters your field which may not rele be relevant to you or may not hold the truth for you. He starts cutting all of these spider web looking cords now as well. And he also assists in cutting any spider web like cords to societal influences of information that may not be your truth but that are around you and that you on a higher level are wishing to clear now. Remembering, he says, that your higher self, your God presence, your spirit is driving this session. We are merely facilitating and grateful to be able to do so for you, he says. However, your spirit, your higher self, is guiding this entire session. And by the guidance of your higher self, we know what actions need to be taken. Michael is 80% complete and keeps cutting all cords and spiderweb cords for each and every one of you now. And reminding you as well to keep breathing up and down your pillar for these energies will be transformed for you now. Breathing them down to the heart of Mother Earth. Keeping your connection flowing between Source and Mother Gaia's heart. Beautiful. Michael is completing now and moves back to the original corner he was in in the temple. And Ascended Master El Moria steps forward now. He's going to assist you deeply with clearing out 
moving out any unwanted implants and entities in your field, entities, life forms, energetic life forms that have somehow attached themselves to you energetically within the 12 dimensions of your energy bodies. And this goes for implants as well. He is going to assist you to remove these now. If you give him your permission to do so, he will do so and on a higher self level, a spirit level, a God presence level, this permission has already been granted. For this is why you are here in your here and now, at this moment in time. Amora starts to work now on these entities and these implants. And he hands them to other support teams present here today, some teams from Aishta Command Galactic Federation who assist specifically with entities and implants in returning the entities back to their frequency, origin, frequency, and implants back to the realm where they belong. Often the implants are AI, artificial intelligence implants, and somehow they have made their way into your field by certain belief systems you've held, certain situations or circumstances you have chosen to be in. And so now you choose to simply remove them with the help of El Moria and the teams. And he reminds you that this clearing of these energies is very important because then you'll start to feel again who you are and who you've always been and your true potential of how you shine your energetic frequency, what makes you, you, all of it, including your personality, everything that makes you, you as an energy here on earth. And that is what you are allowed to shine more brightly now, shine more of your love, shine more of your light and learn where you end and the next energy starts. And also learn that sometimes you need to put up some boundaries and protection in certain instances or with certain people, he explains, or in certain circumstances. He explains, this is not a weakness. This is merely utilizing the tools and the energies to be all of who you are and who you are always meant to be. He explains is like when you need to put a nail into wood, you use a hammer and not your hand. Use the tools, he says, and you will be getting some extra tools today. The first part of this session in the God Presence Communion Temple is about transforming your energies, releasing anything that does not belong to you, so you remember and feel who you truly are. So you're not clouded and muddled by other energy frequencies. He explains that implant and entity removal may feel like all of a sudden a part of your field feels more open or exposed and this is simply because that energy had been in your field. And he says this is immediately sealed up by your higher self and the teams as well supporting you today, the angels and the archangels and the other four who are here today including himself. He's almost complete now, he states. Keep breathing up and down your pillar now to assist these transformations to become a permanent part of your field. In your here and now, during this session. He steps back now and 
Archangel Metatron steps forth. And he assists you by scanning your field now for any anomalies, any energies that were hidden before, anything out of the ordinary based on the energetic signature from your higher self, your God presence, your spirit. He uses what looks like a matrix type of technology to move from your higher chakras all the way down to your lower chakras, scanning the field and removing anything else that is left in your field. If there is any energies found that are not yours, they will be removed. If they are part of your larger energy field, they will be brought back to where they need to be. For instance, soul fragments or other energies, they will be accordingly dealt with through your God presence. And he just scans up and down your field a few times so he makes sure that all this final phase of this transformation and this clearing is done precisely. When he's complete now and he steps back. The team of four indicate that the next step is you receiving a very powerful download from your God presence through your higher chakras into all of your energy bodies. And this will feel different for each and every one of you. For some it may feel like almost lightning coming into your field. For, for others it will feel like the most gentlest of love. Every frequency will be different. All the colors will be different. But what you are receiving is your intensified energetic signature from your God presence. So receive this now and open up to receive this now and let this signature shine brightly in your field. And it will radiate out to the boundaries of your energetic field, the most comfortable energetic field for yourself. You will feel how large is your energetic field and that is representative of your here and now and the months to come. This is how large it is comfortable for you to live. These are your current ideal boundaries of your energetic field for they explain you can expand your field to as large as you want or as small as you want but there is an ideal point for you in your here and now this is what your higher self and God presence is showing you and assisting you to feel deeply now for this is where you will learn how to distinguish yourself from others put up some boundaries and protection if you need it as well so feel into this journey through your own field. Get a sense of how big your energy is as you are in daily life in your earth reality. And this will always give all parts of your energy field, including your mind and your personality, an idea of how far do you stretch out when you're in a crowd, when you're at home, what is your energy? What is your energy signature? Who are you? And you'll also get more insights into some of the talents you naturally hold and will be developing over the next six to 12 months. Your God presence is downloading that into you as well now.
Beautiful and feel how the love and the light and the different colors, different color spectrums for each and every one of you are moving through you now. Soothing you, calming you, exciting you, filling you with passion. Feels refreshing if that's what you need or nurturing if that's what you need. Exciting if that's what you need. Let that all move through you and your God Presence invites you to hand over anything that feels out of alignment or that you're worried about or negative beliefs or thought patterning. Hand it over now. Any limiting thoughts, any blocking emotions, any worries, hand it over now. To be transformed into universal love and light energies. Beautiful, and while your God Presence assists you strongly to hold this field, the team of four now is going to place an energetic layer, an energetic barrier, an energetic shield, energetic protection, energetic distinction around this ideal energy field of yours, this personal energy field. and. This will be a combination of Violet Flame energies, Archangel Michael's energies of truth, Archangel Metatron's energies of platinum protection, and El Moira's energy frequencies in connection to protection as well. So receive this now as your God Presence holds the field, the barriers, Boundaries, protection, layer is now being formed around your field. This lets through any energies that are relevant to you, lets in only energies relevant to you. This will be greatly helping you to see things more clearly, to feel things more clearly, to be more at peace, to be more grounded, to be more you and to shine more brightly as you're always meant to do. To be who you truly are. Breathe up and down your pillar as this field is being placed around you now. And the team of four explain that it is very different for each and every one of you, depending on your earth mission, where you are in life. Some of you may need a very thin boundary. Others may need a thick protective energy that is also very making it clear who you are, etc. Each and every one of you will have a very different composition of the energies these four bring, they explain. Simply receive this now as this is being woven for you. This is being created for you. It's grounded to earth. It's connected to source. Your God presence is becoming part of this. It's making this part of who you are. And this will assist you greatly over the months and years to come. The team of four will assist you to keep this field up to date. with your energetic needs and development. And they would love to commit to this now, for they love to serve. For this is part of their mission. Breathing up and down your pillar now, as this feel is going to be sealed in by the four and your God presence now and Mother Gaia. As they all step back now to their individual corners, place your focus now on the rose quartz crystal at the core of the temple. Exchange some energy with it. As we ask for all this energy work to be sealed and to integrate with grace, ease, love, light, empowerment, we bring all of this transformation through the core of the temple down into the heart of Mother Earth, 
for all beings on earth and beyond to receive, grounding these transformations for all. We thank Michael, Metatron, Germain, Elmoria, and the teams assisting today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So be it, so be it, so be it, it is done. Bring all of your consciousness back now into your here and now. These transformations you will bring back with you in your here and now as well. And we thank you. So be it, so be it, so be it. It is done.